It is now time for me to very proudly uh, introduce uh, our new head football coach, Tim Lester. We know this isn't his number, but he's number one uh, top dog right now. So, thank you. Now, the part of the story that she didn't tell you is uh, as soon as they said that, I put my arm around Jane and said, yeah, this is my mom, <laughs> you know, because uh, cause we, we had grown pretty close and I wasn't going to let them uh, have their time, you know. Um, I am honored. I'm honored to be the head football coach at my alma mater, Western Michigan University. It is, a, uh, it is a special day. There's a lot of people I have to thank, and then I got a quick message, but I want to thank President Dunn, Kathy, uh, Monty, Jeff, Robin, um, Denny, uh, the Board of Trustees, everyone that was involved in giving me this opportunity. I'm really excited about it. Uh, I'd like to thank my wife, Dawn, um, my mother, Pat, my sister, Corey, uh, my oldest is at a volleyball tournament and couldn't be here, Quinn. But then there's Cooper and Carter and Camden that are here. And they, uh, they put up with me on a daily basis. And uh, they mean the world to me. And uh, I'm thankful for you guys. Uh, I'm thankful for the alumni and the support I've gotten from ex-players, ex-coaches, uh, just ex and people that are, that are around the Bronco community that have had my back and, uh, and really helped me, you know, push through life and get to this point where I have this great opportunity, you know, so I'm really, I'm really fortunate. Um, you know, I met with the players yesterday and I told them two secrets, uh, the secret of winning and the secret of change. Okay. The secret of winning is not coaching its culture. Okay. And it's the truth. The secret to winning is not coaching its culture. I let them know that coaches can come and come and go, but culture wins, culture wins. And it's been that way everywhere I've been. And when culture goes away, the same coach can be there. The culture goes away and that coach loses. You know, so when the culture is there, and the culture here is a phenomenal culture. And I'm excited to help it grow. And we have to continue to push it to grow. If we want to do a bunch of things that hasn't been done before, we have to continue to push it on a daily basis. But that is the secret to winning games, is to keep our culture where it is. And they've done a phenomenal job. We have to continue to grow in the classroom. We have to continue to grow in the community, and we'll continue to win on the field if we do, do those two things, okay? The second secret is the secret of change. The secret of change is taking all your energy and focus, and not on fighting the past, but on building the new. Okay, we can't fight the past. We're proud of our past. I, I had a great year last year watching the Broncos play. I mean, I, am a, I mean, we played, we played Illinois a couple weeks after you guys. And it was the greatest week of my life because I got, I mean, we sit in the film room a lot, especially as a quarterback coach. I watched Zach a lot, you know, <laughs> and it was a great, it was a great week. You know, I watched the championship game. I watched the Cotton Bowl. I mean, I watched so much Bronco football. Um, it was, it was, a, it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun, but, but that's a secret. We're going to embrace our past. We're going to embrace the, all the things we've done, uh, but we are going to definitely put all our energy into building the future. Okay. Um, Two things you'll get from me every day, okay? Two things you'll get from me every day. I will build relationships with our players and help them grow. I mean, that's, I think, I think every day when I show up to work, I need to get in front of them and make sure they know we care about them and we're gonna continue to help them become better, better husbands, better fathers, better sons. We just gotta turn them into better people and that thing, as a head coach, that is my job. Okay, I'll do X's and O's here and there, but my job is to be there for them. Okay, number two, is my job is to recruit. Recruit the best players in a six hour radius that fit our culture. Okay, to do that, I do need to hire a staff. I will hire a staff of men of integrity and character to go recruit integrity and character. You need to have it to recruit it. Okay, and that's the number two, the, the one and two thing that I'm looking for in hiring a staff is men of integrity and character because I know they, they have to go out and find that same thing to bring in if they want to fit into our culture. Uh, those are the things we're looking for. Um, you know, watching the team for the past two years, it's been a lot of fun for me because it's kind of, it's shined a light on Kalamazoo and Western Michigan, and people are starting to realize how great of a place it is. Um, I don't know if anyone in this room, I never doubted that it was a great place. It's just great that people are st finally starting to realize that this is a special place. We've been screaming it for a long time. Uh, it's just, it's, it's really exciting uh, as an alum, 
as you're a football coach, uh, to watch watch the light shine on it. And I'm excited to be a part of making sure that light continues to shine on it because uh, people are start, finally starting to realize how great this place is. Uh, and we've all known it for such a long time. Um, I believe this is the best place in the country. Okay, it is. It has the best best city, best school, best culture, best facilities, best alumni. Um, I could go on and on and on. Um, you know, with those best, we should expect the best. We should expect to compete for MAC championships year after year after year. If you're given the best, you're expected. I mean, high high ceiling of what our expectations are. And that's what we should do on a daily basis. We're going to focus on those things and work for them. Okay? It is a daily grind of, of changing your best on a daily basis. Um, in closing, I, I, don't want, I know we're going to have some questions here at the end. We have a lot of work to do. Okay? It's been a wild 20, not even 24 hours yet. Uh, so we've been scrambling, and we've got to get to, these, we got, you know, get to the recruiting first, uh, get to building a staff. Um, we do have a lot of hard work to do, but we love to work. We have a lot of recruiting to do. We love to recruit, okay? We have a lot of relationships to build. There's no better place to build relationships than here at Western Michigan University. And those are the three things we're gonna do. Thank you very much and go Broncos.